Hi guys, it's Jamie Scrap and Stampers. Um, today I have two um, very simple cards that I created um, that I'd like to share with you guys. Um, and then I'll do the background for you after the card share so you can see how I created these backgrounds. Um, this one here I entered into the My, My Style Stamps um, color challenge for this month. And um, the challenge was to use like this dark blue color, like a teal, uh, very light teal color, and a sand color. Um, I'll have her link down below to her Facebook group where you can um, enter the challenge. It was really fun to use these colors. They're so pretty. And this is a My Style stamp. Um, she's called Beach Bum. And I just colored her with my Copics, added some glitter to the little flowers there, and then put some uh, sequins on the card. And you can see the background is really sparkly, really pretty. And I'm going to show you how I did that. And this is another My Style Stamps card. Um, this is the set called, um, I, I think it's called Life is Better in Flip Flops, or Flip Flop Love. I'm not sure. Let me see. Flip Flop Love, yeah. It's this one here, and it is called Flip Flop Love. So I just um, colored the little flip flops and fussy cut them out and popped dot, popped them up on pop dots um, in the corner there. And um, this one you could see it's a more soft look in the background because I did um, spray this down with water. So I'm going to show you that. And this one I just sprinkled with water. So you get those little droplets um, kind of separating the ink. And then I created um, some clouds up here. I'll show you how I did that. And um, I just tied a little um, twine on there. So let's get started. So I have my um, paper here. I'm just using regular paper. This is the um, Georgia Pacific 110 pound paper. You're going to want to use um, thick paper. So either um, watercolor paper or 110 pound. Um, and you don't want to rub it too much after you spray the water on it because it will start to fray your paper. Um, so I'm going to just start with my distress inks. And I'm going to start creating like the sand. So I'm using the wild honey. This one here. And I'm using a piece of felt. I just cut apart little squares um, to use on the different colors I have. And then I have a piece of paper on the back here so I could kind of rub off um, and then start my um, little scene here. So I'm just going to go across like this. And this time I'm going to add some of this um, frayed burlap color. So I'm going to use a new felt piece. Just to add some variation in the sand here. Okay, now I'm going to um, get my wild honey again and do another going this way, like this. Let me get this one a little bit darker. There we go. And then here I'm going to add the, um, the ocean, so I'm going to use blue, I got the tumbled glass, 
and I'm probably going to use peacock feathers as well. And I'm not too worried about it um, being too heavy on here because I'm going to spray it with water and it's going to dull down the colors. So like in my last video, um, I was really worried about, um, I was wanted to get a lot softer look so I would go on the side and kind of get most of the ink off and then go. But since I'm spraying it with water, it's okay to make it really dark. And then I'm going to go in with the peacock feathers. This is like more of a teal color. I'm shaking the whole table. <laughs> My um, Copic markers are shaking all over the place. Okay, then I'm gonna get some more blue up over here because now we're gonna work on the sunset. top to be a little softer. So here I'm going to um, roll off some of the, the ink. And I actually created the, the clouds after um, I wet the paper and after I dry it. use the marmalade, spice marmalade as well. I'm just gonna play around with these colors. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay, so now after I did all that, I just have a little mister, and I'm gonna spray that up. Let's close all this up so it doesn't get wet. Don't you just love playing with the inks? My hands get so messy. Okay. 
Now I'm just going to spray. And the Distress inks react with water, so you're going to see the colors kind of like spread a little bit. See how they kind of fade and look like a water, watercolor effect? And if you do this with watercolor paper, you're going to see it maybe spread more and you might not want that because you want to still have the look of the um, the ocean and the beach. You want the colors to be where they are, so that's why I didn't use watercolor paper. So now I'm just going to um, blow dry this with my heat tool and then I'll be back and show you um, the glitter. Okay, now my paper is dry. Um, it is a little bit curled, so after I add the glue and I'm all done, I'm gonna put it under this glass mat and let it dry flat, and it'll be flat um, later on to put on my card. So you can see the color is kind of faded away and look like more of a watercolor look. And um, I'm gonna do the clouds. So what I did is just took a piece of paper and just ripped it up in a, you know, different uh, kind of like a cloud shaped little hills here and then I'm just going to um, lay that on here and then take um, my blue color I'm just using the studio G1 and I might use some of this tumble glass as well so I'm just going to take my felt And here you do want to roll off the excess ink so you could get a softer look with the clouds. And then I just roll it like this. Okay, see the, and then you just move it, move this in various patterns and just roll. Okay, see that happening? You get a really, really cool effect with this. And then probably one more. See how the clouds came out? I think it looks really cool. Okay, so now what I did to make it look all shimmery, um, you can use any glue. The first time I did it, I used my glue pen. Let's see, where is it? But I didn't really like it because the ink got stuck on the glue pen and it kind of got sticky there so I didn't like that um, so I'm gonna try this one this is the stickles glue um, you could use modge modge podge so then um, for the sand I used the distress glitter that's not very shiny so I did that let's do that one first Okay, so then let's just pour that on. Dump that. 
that back in there. And then I also used the Stampin' Up! Dazzling Diamonds, which is really sparkly. And then I just put that right over my sunset and the water. I'm just going to dump that right on there. Okay, now I just wait for it to dry and then I just brush off that excess um, glitter with a, with a paintbrush, a dry paintbrush. Okay, so be back after that dries. So here is the um, dried um, image all um, glittered up and that rock candy um, glue kind of dried, um, dried it chunky. So um, it kind of looks cool, kind of looks like sea foam. But uh, if you want to get an even coat, I'd probably use Mod Podge, the matte kind, or maybe a glue stick. Um, just depends on the look you're going for. And there are the clouds. I think they came out really cool. And it's ready to put your sentiment up there and add a cute image and um, just glue that onto your card and it will be super cute. So um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye everybody.